Is Dip doing an interview too with you? No, I'm doing it by myself. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I played in a professional league out there where he's from out in Portland. It's one called the IBL. I put enough numbers too, man. Like, like, like you know what I'm saying? That joke just ain't paying out enough, though. Which was crazy. Man. You can imagine, I'm telling you, you can imagine how many, when, when how many trees a nigga try to shake to try to go get that paper and it's just what it's meant to be. Man, right. Yeah, you know I mean, everything happened for a reason, though. Okay, I'm happy with what I'm doing right now, man. I'm, I'm, I'm saving lives right now. So I'm, 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 I'm uh, very happy at what I'm doing right now. Mm. All right, on five. Ready? I'm with it. Let's, 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 let's chop it up, baby. One, two, three, four, five. What it do, what it do, what it do, good people. Coming to y'all live from Taz TV. We got a special one tonight, y'all. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. I told y'all I was going to come with a with a Baltimore legend. I told y'all I was going to come with a with a big man. See, we, Baltimore is a town that, 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 that we know this is a God city. This is a wing city. And, and more so, I'm going to say it's a God city. So... I got a, a special appreciation for the big man. A special appreciation for the big man. And and, and, and for the one and only, I'm going to give it up for Sean Hampton. Sean, how you feeling tonight? Man, I'm good, fam. How, you, how about yourself, bro? Man, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I can't complain. Happy that you're on the platform. Man, anything, man, to help you, you know, do what you got to do to shed light on this, on this basketball present and past, man. Man, okay. Well, we look. We gonna get straight into it. We gonna get straight into it. Where you from? Man, I'm from uh, East Baltimore, uh, Latrobe and Somerset Projects. Okay, East Baltimore. Stand up. And, 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 what, what, what middle? What, what middle school you went to? I went to. Uh, I, got, I went to Dunbar Middle and uh, Golden Ring. And, and Golden Ring. All right, yeah. all right. What? What? When you started playing basketball? I started playing basketball at about six years old uh, for Murdoch, God rest his soul. Uh, Down please. there, played, played for the Junior Rockets. And, uh, you know, my first time playing was with, uh, under Murdoch with uh, Coach, uh, my godfather, Timmy Lyle Sr. And mm -hmm. me and Fest was down there as Junior Rockets down at uh, 102, Thomas E. Hayes. That's, that was my first time playing. Oh, yeah, I was a force. Yeah, I was a force. Playing with the kid. All right. What made you... <clears throat> well, you know what? I'm going to give you the floor a little bit, right? You started You started, You started. started in middle school. What made you choose St. Francis? Was there any other schools that you, you, you decided to go to before you uh, chose St. Yeah, Francis? Uh, basically, like, you know, uh, you know, because of the dynamics of growing up in the, in the hood, there was a lot of stuff going on down in East Baltimore, and my mom just felt as though it was necessary for us to get away. So she kind of moved us out there to the Rosedale, Sedonia area. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I wind up going to Golden Ring Middle. And, like, she just didn't want me to wind up being a statistic. So, you know, uh, initially I was a lot to go to Dunbar. I mean, I went to Dunbar Middle. I went to Thomas G. Hayes. I mean, mm -hmm. I lived right across the street from Dunbar. So I was a lot. That great year to go right to Dunbar. I mean, then, you know, a lot of stuff happened at Dunbar, and I wanted to play for Pompey just like, you know, Keith Booth and all the other legends. I wanted, I, I grew up watching them, so I wanted to see, you know, Turk, and I wanted to see, you know, Mike Lloyd, everybody. I grew up watching them, man, so I wanted to go to Dunbar and, and carry on the tradition to play for Pete Pompey, but something happened, and at that, that trend, I started looking at other schools. And long and behold, you know, St. Francis, uh, Eric Skeeters, in my eighth grade year, was like, yo, you should think about, you know what I'm saying, going to St. Francis. I never, I never heard of St. Francis, though. And I live in the, right across, the, I mean, Lake, right, Lake is right there. Never heard of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, he was like, he was talking about it. like, hey, you can get a world-class education. And then he went ahead and as soon as he got to the part about uniforms, I'm like, uniforms? I said, oh, you know, no damn uniforms, man. Like, Playing with that bullshit. Uh, <laughs> so I wound up going to Oakley my ninth grade year. And actually, yo, it was for the best, man, because I got to start as a freshman, you know, put up some good stats. I uh, average probably like 
almost a triple double, like even like 11, 11 and seven point eight blocks a game. Nope. And I, I told Ski this back was like, yo, I think I'm ready to turn out to St. Francis, man. It's time to come back in town. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, play for St. Francis. So uh, immediately I got down there. I, met, I had to meet with uh, Sister John Francis. Okay. And, uh, basically, it was like. This ain't this ain't that cupcake league out there in uh, <laughs> Baltimore County. She's like, this ain't that cupcake league. As if I wasn't playing AAU ball in town my whole life. But I said, all right, no problem, sister. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what I got to do. And then, you know, the rest is history. You know, we, a bunch of championships later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, we was, uh, you know, I'm at St. Francis trying to make history with the, uh, with, with the legend of South Mark Carter and Alfonso Jones. Daryl Daz and a whole bunch of other great guys that went to St. Francis. Man, look, look, the fu- uh, look, man, the funny, the funny thing about it, uh, Benny, Darren Bird, try- that's my guy, man. Darren Bird was one of them cats, man. man. He checked some of the best players in the country. Chris yes, he did. Ray, Tim Thomas, like, uh, like everybody, I, I, I didn't check. They, they put Benny on. The Benny was like a lockdown defender, man. Like Benny was that dude, man. Like. Him and Eric Payton, man, like, yeah. they, they were now defensive specialists, man. They did what they needed to do to get that shit done, man. They sacrificed a lot of their offense. Man, look, sure I, that we get it done. at that time, I'm in middle school. But I came to the games, like, uh, shit, a couple times. Benny even brought me, brought me to the game. He tried to get me down there at that. And I came out of middle school. He tried to get me down there, right? But at this time, I ain't had no name. You know, I was late bloomer. So then uh, my mother went down there for uh, – to talk to to talk to somebody, and they ain't want to let me in. I mean, you know that they changed the next year though. Then the, the, the next year, yeah, well, well, wanted to highlight me, but I was already going down to Dumbo. But go ahead, and finish. What, 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 you, you already started talking about the, the players you was playing with, right? Go ahead. Uh, who who you, name name the uh, the coach that you played with, the play you played uh, for, I and played, the, and played, the, and the players played, you played with. Uh, so what, what, what do you want me uh, at, uh, uh, just jump to St. Francis, or you want me to talk about the whole high school experience itself? How, how you want me? We can start off with the we can start off with the high school experience itself. Yeah, so I started off for playing for a coach named uh, Tom Gibbs, real up uh, up in Sedonia, I mean up in uh, Overly. Uh, and what happened was I met a group of guys in the summertime. You know what I'm saying, and that's what made the decision not to go to. St. Francis originally hard. I met the guy, Troy Williams, was, was this outstanding shooter. And this guy named Junie Cousins, man, and he was just unbelievable slash. And I'm seeing these dudes down on the court. Same court with Stink, same court. We all out in Sedonia. Uh, Juan Dixon. I mean, this this bump was thick. I'm like 14, 13 years old. Mike King, Joshi, like all these like great ball players, like on this one court over there in Sedonia. And I'm seeing these dudes like Troy and Junie get wrecked. I'm like, shit, man, I want to play with these dudes. So my man, uh, Dern, had an idea, like, yo, well, I'm the grand four yard that's going to be playing the same, uh, been playing at uh, Ovi that did, and we went around with him as our point guard to do Dern, mm-hmm. and, four, and the other four guys, Jeremy Lee, and uh, I think it was Big Shannon. We all went around everywhere, you know, playing basketball. Like, so I was the youngest dude, all the dudes, like, juniors. And I was like a little 13-year-old. My mama was all pissed off. I was like, why are you hanging out with them? Because you know the courts that had the lights, like the uh, uh, Federal Hill and uh, yeah, you know, places yeah. like that had lights. So I'm yeah. coming back like 12.30 in the morning. And you're looking at me like, I took your ass from, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put your ass to be, you know, safe and hate you is out here. And I'm like, I'm just trying to tell them. I'm just trying to play ball. Like, I'm just, I'm like a gym rat. Like, I'm just trying to play ball. I just want to, wherever the bump at, you know what I mean? I'm trying to play. And unfortunately, I, I, you know, people like, you know, Stank, everybody, they was older dudes, so the bump was like, you know, I couldn't be like, it's 7.30, my mom want me home. Like, right, like, right. Oh, let's, get the car, let's, go, <laughs> let's go catch this wreck. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It was like, let's go catch this wreck, man. And I held my own, you know what I'm saying? As, even as a kid, like, you know, I was a kid playing down at the dome. You, you, got, you, you, got, you got thrown into that fire early. Stink, stink threw me, or I was on the same, but stink down at the dome at 14 years old. Now, 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 excuse me, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sean. Now, when he's saying stink and nut, stink is 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 uh is Kevin Norris. He went to the University of Miami. He was he a late Clifton alum. Nut, he, when he say nut, 
His name is Shante Rogers. Went to GW. <laughs> he was five. He was five four, and and, and let his let his team in scoring and rebounding. But go ahead, Sean. Finish off. And so, like, it was like you know between like uh, Stink and Donald Donald Danza. Mm-hmm. It was like some of the main people that was trying to give me the confidence to like you know do what I do because it took me a while for my body to catch up with my height. You know, they was clumsy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it, it was hard at first, but those type of dudes was like, "Oh, you can do this. This is like, oh, you'll stick with it." No, I'm gonna throw you the ball. You can just go and see what you do. Run the floor. I'm gonna get it to you. Do what you do. Right. And, you know, and that you know that, that built up confidence. By the time I got to my sophomore year, I had put everything together and started, you know, doing what I needed to do. And that's when I started. You know, that's when I, I like once again never really heard of Mark. I heard of Mark, but never knew who he was until I got to St. Francis. Like, cause Mark was older than me, so. We wasn't playing in the same age bracket, so I, mean, I heard about the, the, the Mark, and you know, and I heard all about all the great things he was doing as a sophomore, how good he was. So it was like a pleasure to come down to St. Francis and play with Mark and Fonzo and and like I said, uh, Eric Payton and um, uh, Daryl uh, Danzler, uh, so every Beanie, everybody, Charles Busey, like like yo, we we did some special things. At uh, at my sophomore year, you know, and me being a, uh, you know, I was like that no. missing piece that Mark needed, and the mm. team needed. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. They need, they never had a big man since then. So now, now look, 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 Let me, let me, let me, let me slow you down a little bit. Now, when you transferred down there, right? Y'all end up, y'all was, y'all was rated in the country that year, wasn't it, y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was rated the, the whole time I was there. Yeah, we rated um, I think seven. Yeah. yeah. Now I I watched. I came up there and watched uh, the Charm City Classic. Yeah, we uh, I, we wound up playing. Uh, you know, uh, Cable, which is was the number one uh, player in the country. At yes, St. Pat, St. Pat, what was it? St. Pat. I mean, St. Pat. No, not St. Patrick. Uh, Prospect Hall. Prospect Hall, and Mark hit this unbelievable shot. At the end of the game, to be dumb, and then we had a battle against the the, the monster and and Mount Zion with Tracy McGrady. Yeah. I mean, they had like thirteen D one players on their team. Against yeah, Corey Hightower. Yeah, exactly. We battled, going at it. You know what I'm saying? Mark and Tracy crossed each other up. They both wind up in the game with like twenty nine, twenty nine. I wind up in the game like with like fifteen and twelve. Yeah. So like like so, I held my own. Again, once again, playing against really, really good competition. Held my own. Did what I needed to do. We just say come out the win with the win that but at that particular game. Took it, took it on the road. The next, the next week, we in Derry, Pennsylvania, playing against Tim Thomas. <laughs> yeah. like, like the shit. Like when I tell you, the shit got crazy. Like, like then you know, weeks later, we had the Gaucho shit playing against Ron Artest. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something because. I have a story. I have a story, and I know I'm the only one that heard the story. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's folklore or not. They said, they said Ron Artest came in the gym, and he was like, "Where Mark Carter at?" He said, "Where's Mark Carter?" And and, and 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 ain't nobody really say nothing. And then he went out there and and and, and cooked y'all. No, that's not why it really happened, man. Like what happened was. Like, to be perfectly honest, man, that was my sophomore year. I, I was sick. So, I was, like, you know, I was sick. And that was that, that was my check. Why they didn't get off until the third and fourth quarter? The first quarter, I had enough energy, and he was held in check. And the second half, you know what I mean? I just I just ain't having no more. I was, I was too sick. I couldn't run after him. Like, you know what I mean? So, he got a couple, you know, really, really good dunks. But, like... Mark was that real deal, man. He was yeah, like, yeah, someone right. didn't, tell, no, didn't too many people want that smoke. So that's a, that's a, that's a yeah. lot of more made up shit. See, see, up. see yeah. that? Oh, I don't take that when I when I hear that story. I don't. That's not a a, a knock. See, when I hear that, that's not a knock on Mark for me. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. no. Like, but no, ain't no like, like ain't yeah. too many people want the smoke, yo. I was there, right. so they ain't want no smoke with yo. Like, like. 
Mark was the guy. Ain't, ain't nobody really want that smoke. And he, Ronald Artest ain't had Mark Arsenal on offense. Ronald Artest was just athletic and able to, uh, he was getting up and down the court. And, it, and at that time, I couldn't do nothing with him because I was sick. Mm-hmm. And like I said, the game plan went out the door. Don't don't forget, I was the biggest dude on the team at the time. So, like, once, once I got on the game, he was able to do what he needed to do. And he got off in the second, uh, I mean, the third and fourth quarter. And that was it. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? He, he like I said, he got a couple nice dunks. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, I mean, I got family from New York. New York, they just talk shit. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Especially if you let them make to get the W. You right. know what I'm saying? But, uh, like, they got the W. You know what I'm saying? And I wind up seeing them again uh, at Five Star. And he was oh. my counselor when he first started at, uh, Hold up, we gonna hold up, we hold up, we gonna get we gonna get to the camp, we gonna get to the camp. Yeah, yeah. I'm what? just trying to say the connection of how you know. Oh yeah, how everything went. Like, yeah, how everything went. How like how how the respect level went with me. Like I wind up knowing the dude, like you know, personally gave me some of his USA shorts and everything. Man. Really cool dude for real. Now we gonna get into because this is uh, this your first year in the Catholic League, right? You got Juan Dixon at at, at Cal Hall. With Pat, yeah. the, with Pat the Goomba. I know they was pumping him up. Uh, yeah, they, definitely, they definitely was disrespecting me when he came down to him until, the, until we, we actually matched up. You know what I'm saying? Because the nigga looked like he was chiseled out of the magazine, man. When you yeah, see him, he was, yeah, Pat he was, looked like the nigga just threw muscles on his neck. Like, he was like, cut up like a bag of dope. Yeah, like, I'm like, yo, where the hell he get this goddamn, this damn uh, muscle bound ass seven foot nigga? Like, like. So like like when I first when we first saw him, I'm like, yo, this nigga about to rip the rim down, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying, like, once again, like, you know, I hold my own. Like it ain't it ain't like, you know, he didn't dominate. Uh Warren did what Warren do, but I, I think at the time they caught the hell. Yeah. You know I mean they caught the hell again. And yeah. you know, my like they, they, they knew what it was. We beat them at Calvary and they came down to see uh uh, CB, uh, B, whatever the shit was called. I was, like, I, was the, I was at the, I was at the, uh, I was at the Cavalier game. I went with yeah, Ben. I was yeah, at the Cavalier game. Like I said, it was big, and like you know what I'm saying. But I did what I needed to do to allow my guys, which was Fonzo and Mark, to do what they needed to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was a third or fourth option at that time, so yeah, yeah. I had some forces on my team that were, you know, they were the first option on the team. I was on this long force, so yeah. I was just, you know, doing what I needed to do. I was averaging my. 13 and 13 and 11 and 5, but I was holding down to make sure that they could do what they needed to do. It was like, it was like y'all was scrappy and finesse at the same time. Cause y'all got dazzling. We had everything you needed. Like we had people like Beanie, EP, and Daryl. We were just sending the dogs at you. So then you had speed and quickness with Carzo. And then you had uh, the high school Michael Jordan and, and Mark. Like, like we had, I mean, that was a special year. You know, we had everything you wanted. Like, and the teams we lost to, we should have lost because they had more weapons than us at the time. Okay. Like, we was like, we was, they, they, their team was set up like an AAU team, the teams we lost to. We only lost four times that year. And they were all all-star teams that were like, you know, them teams, like, they were all prep schools. Okay. Or, you know, MCI type situations. It was never like, we wasn't losing to, like, oh, we gonna lose to Cal, uh, like, Dumbar or somebody like that. We was, uh, we was losing. We were losing to like McGrady and them uh, teams that had five, fifteen. Their whole bench had, you know, what I mean, uh, D one, high D one. I think the lowest place that team McGrady was on, the lowest place somebody went to was like Missouri, and Missouri ain't even a low place to go to. Like, <laughs> like how good the teams were we were losing to. All right. Like, and everybody that we lost to had a pro on the team. Tim Thomas, NBA, first yeah. round. Uh, Ron Artest, NBA, first round. Tracy McGrady, NBA, first round. So those four losses we, we got that year, uh, you know, and then we lost to the Collin brothers uh, out there in uh, Las Vegas that year. That's that, that was our fourth loss. We went 30 and 40. Dun- Dunbar played them in a the, uh, slant up to the beat. Let so me. The Collins brothers. Yeah, the Collins brothers. Let me. Uh, yeah. Now, now we're going we, to go ahead. Now, your sophomore year come to an end. You know what I'm saying? You feel, you feeling good. Now you're going into the summer, right? Yeah. What you do that? What you do? What you do to the summer? Did you you go to ABCD? You go to Nike? Yeah, I got a uh, uh, because of my the first time I going in my we call it Rising Junior at the Rising Junior because of Mark. Uh, they wanted they wanted Mark 
So Mark, Mark basically, I got there the first time on his coattail, but I still needed to be able to do what I needed to do in order to, to show that I deserved to be there. Not only did I do what I needed to do, I made the top 20 uh, underclassmen game, which is like, you know, the best 20, best 20 underclassmen rising juniors in the whole camp. Mm-hmm. And get my own personal invite the following year and, and, do, and duplicate it to the same thing. Mm-hmm. I went back to back. So I went there off the strength of the uh, month. And then the next, and then, but then I, I showed out though. I went up there and did my thing. And then the next year, they, they was like, yo, I was about to go to the blue chip joint, the Nike joint. And they was like, nah, man. They, they called me, like, nah, man, we need you. You need to, we need you to come up here. And, you know, you need to come to back to AB, ABCD camp. And, I mean, we're going to make sure you're good. You know, and, and like I said, anybody that's never been in them joints before they started getting watered down and everybody was just coming, man, they used to treat you lovely at ABCD. And, nah, and, and so you should have You should have came to Nike. You should have came to Nike. I, want, you know, I wanted to, but my school was a theater school. So, you know, back then you had mm-hmm. to rock with you, you for free. Yeah. So like, you know, if I was a, if, like now, you know, I would have been like, shit, I don't ever want to be giving out the best gear. If Eli wanted me to come to that camp, I don't want to be like that now that I know. No, no, I understand. No, I got an ABCD. <laughs> I got ABCD uh, invite, right? Yeah. But, you know, I was a night guy because I was a Cecil guy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, so I did that. But, all right, now you're going into your junior year. You got expectations now. You know what I mean? Let's uh, let's talk about it. So going into my junior year, I become the second option behind Mark. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So now Barzo graduated. Either 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 left. We'd have lost a lot of seniors. So it's now it's now a Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen situation. I'm basically I'm Scotty Pippen. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing everything. I'm I'm averaging about 20, 25 points a game. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the Catholic League, I actually ended the year. With more points than Mark and Walker. Right. That year. Right. Like, outside the Catholic League, Mark, of course, outscored me in out of conference play. But in conference play, I had an unbelievable junior junior year where I finished the year with more points than Mark and Juan that, that year. But I wound up making my first team all Catholic League and making my first appearance on all, all state, all Baltimore City, all Baltimore County. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got and, it. I got a picture. All the accolades start, the, all the accolades start piling up. Like, so it's like, uh, I started getting calls. Like, you know, uh, the mail start pulling in from all the big schools. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, like, like it was like, I was, I was there knocking at the door as a sophomore. But my junior year, it, it really started, like, I really started taking off. And, and it started, like, really, really coming together. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Now, let me, let me I'm, I'm going to say two names. Scotty and Paul. Scotty and Paul. So, all right. So, that that, that they, they family. So, we we I I, I met Scotty at Golden Ring, and you know, ever since then, everybody looking at him, they they they're like like a godfather. You know, well, I had just lost my father to a car accident. So when I met Scotty, you know what I mean, he was a counselor at Golden Ring Middle. Okay. You know what I'm saying, and he was a very avid basketball fan, but he didn't have the name recognition that I had. So we put together, me and him, uh, he loved basketball. So at that time, we, yes, had, a he did. we had a team called Rosedale at first. Like, see, people don't think, y'all think about Baltimore Slack. No, uh-huh. he was on his team, winning the championships in the county on this team called Rosedale. Uh-huh. And, was, and we ran through it with the Rosedale squad. Like, like I was ran through the little county league. You know what I mean? And then, you know, the next year, you know what I'm saying, we got Baltimore Select. And he, like, just like me, like, you know, Scotty, I, I, I got on my hotels to get in, and Scotty got on my hotel, but once he got in, he proved to be who he was. He proved to be, like, a really good coach, and, and he was ready to get other talent, you know, people like, you know, yourself, Melo, a lot of Reggie Bryant, um, a lot of people played on Baltimore Select. So, like, you know, like it, 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 it became, I was on the first team that, that he had, but it became something great. Because a lot of great players came right behind me. And it, it, it stayed around. Well, it should have been longer because he was a good guy. It should have been around longer. But, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's no reason. Hey, you remember that wall? You remember that, uh, 
the tour we had War in the Woods, right? And, and, and we played uh we played the Panthers from New York. We played Zach well, Zach you know, <laughs> Yeah. Crazy, crazy is, you know, I uh, I double dipped, so I was playing on Team of Soul. And I was playing on Yeah, the- I remember that. Yeah, you did play with Team and Soul. I forgot. Yeah. yeah I, was I was playing. So I told you I started shining. So I I got called from other teams to, to want to be on the team. So uh, the, the, the dude over there, Curtis, called me. It's like, yo, Sean, uh, I got a spot, spot for you at the four. You want to come play with Damar Johnson, Keith Hogan's, uh, 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 you know, te- uh, 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 was it Kevin Lyde? Yeah, you know, Big Lyde. Kevin Lyde and, and, and Joe Forte. Joe Forte was like a little young boy. I mean, my team was stacked. Yo. Like when I say my team was stacked, I, I mean, I was doing my thing. And that's when uh, we had Lamar Johnson running the one. DJ was running the one at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had 6'9", 6'9". Kevin Lyde was like 6'10". Yeah. He was like 6'3". And we was bringing young gunners, uh, Val Brown and Joe Forte off the bench rip. Like young gunners, and they was double. They was putting me. Val Brown with the Val Brown with the. Let me break it down for the people. Val Brown with he went to GW. He was like considered like the little next little baby Allen Iverson. He was in the top five in the nation for his college basketball. You had um, you had uh Kevin Lai. Kevin Lai went to Temple and played with Mark, uh, Mark Carter. You had uh Demar Johnson. Demar Johnson. He was the number one player in, in, in my in, in class of '99 for a while, and he ended up going to Cincinnati, and then got drafted to uh to Atlanta. So what he talk about right now, everybody that that, that he naming, they, they did what they supposed to do. Made pro was 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 live on the circuit. You know what I'm saying? That was our that was our rival team. But go ahead, finish finish finish, son. Yeah. So so like so I'm, I'm uh, so at all the tournaments that select don't have. I'm playing with Team Assault, so you know we over there, the, the, uh, over there, in Las Vegas, the Las Vegas, uh, a big Adidas, a, a Adidas joint, so the, the California Las Vegas joint. So we uh, we had the pyramid over there in California. We beat the joint, uh, the Team Assault team. We beat the joint and finished, I think, second, losing to the Celtics of Atlanta. They had the um, uh, Washington son on there, uh, one of the Wilkins boys son on this team. On the team at the time. It was Damon. Yeah. It was Damon. Yeah, Damon. Yeah, he won the four pro too. So we lost to his team had about four pros on it too. So like it was like we lost the second. We we won we won it, lost it, and then I came back to the war in the woods and we won that with spots in them team. Now I'm saying came up to the war in the woods, now I mean played against the uh, Long Island Packers or who the hell it was, with with, with Marbury and Towards Bell and all them boys and Whoop that ass because they look, big shit. Look, they, they was that. they was up on us. They was up on us a little by a little bit. Second half, then we then, then we uh because man Z came man Z came off the bench. It was you and Jamal that started. Man Z came off the bench and, and, and did our thing, but we came back. We came back and beat them. And then Zach Zach Marbury, he had uh, he had uh. He had threw his he had threw his uniform down and jumped in the lane in in the land rover. Yeah, skid the rock sanders yeah, got up out of there. He spit the rock sanders over his truck. <laughs> yeah, he was, mad he was mad. Everybody, everybody was like, look, but everybody was quiet though. Yeah, everybody was quiet like, no, he didn't. Yo, that shit was funny as shit. Yo, he spit the rock, put some music on, was like, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. My brother rich. <laughs> right. Right. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, that 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 Bill Spots. That Bill Spots. They was they Man, was they was good that, too. Remember that dinner? Remember that dinner? We we did we got because we wanted to join because ain't nobody yeah. been on what the water was in a while. So when yeah. we won that joint, that was big. Yeah, was yeah. Like really look, big you know out of that, right? The the, the um uh, I end up going to Iceland with the uh the man that uh what's his name? Rick. The man that run the thing, yeah. Johnny ended up going. He went. He went to. I think he went to London with them. But like a, a, a year later, before I went to prep school, I ended up going to Iceland. He, I was on the A and one team with them out of uh, the Iceland. We, this shit was on ESPN and all that. But listen, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna we're gonna keep it full. We we moving forward, right? Now, your senior year, Mark Carter gone. 
You know what I'm saying? What you going to do, Sean Hampton? Changing the God was happening in in, in Catholic League. Now, yeah. Towson Catholic, like, Towson like, Catholic. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, like like I said, I just came off a really good junior year, and now I'm I'm in my senior year. I'm getting all this, all the, all. I'm getting the mark calls now. Like I'm I'm I'm, I'm running. We go into Durant. Uh, I, we I, I, we give Durant a thirty piece. We go to this place and. You know what I mean? Darren Good was in that league at the time, you know. So, and, uh, like, you know, like, we, we going against, uh, we going around, and they thinking, like, you know, now, we've been busting ass since, since Mark was there. They're like, now, oh, the Mark gone, so we going to start busting our ass. Nah, give us, a, give us another championship, four in a row now, connect four, four in a row, four championships in a row now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, ain't no, uh, ain't no, oh, you gonna bust it out of ass because Mark gone, like, nah, nigga, I'm still here, fuck Mark with y'all, like, you know what I'm saying, like, that ain't going down like that, like, we, we, was about to, we was about to go to Alhambra again, which is a tournament we won, I told you, as a sophomore with Mark, and, uh, Fon, Fon's won everybody, we won that joint as a sophomore, uh, tell, a sophomore. T- tell the people, it's a Catholic League tournament. Yeah, it's like the biggest, it's one of the biggest Catholic League tournaments in the country, but at that time, the Catholic League, the Baltimore Catholic League was ranked like third in the nation as far as best because of yeah. the division. Hey, man. Like, you know, it was sending a lot of, because uh, let's be honest about what was going on. They limit the city schools to travel, so the Catholic schools could travel, y'all couldn't. So that's yeah, we're going gonna, we gonna to say what it is. We're going to say what yeah, it is. The real, the, the, it, was, it was only about four or five good city teams. And now everybody else is some shit, for real. Yeah, so we couldn't, we, like, so, and, and y'all had a travel restriction, 
and then we did. We were going all over the place. Right. We, we, we was in Canada and all types of places playing. <laughs> like, so we had no travel restrictions. We had Las Vegas, Canada. We was, we, wherever they wanted us to play at, we was there. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, so let's like, let's go to, let's speed it up to the Catholic League tournament. So, I, 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 I speak to all the awards. I get first team. I get Catholic player of the year. We get yeah. to the tournament. We got, we got Rex Bryant and I'm on the first, the first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going too fast. Listen, oh, do, you, do, you, do you hear what he said? He got player of the year. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to slow down on your accomplishment, bro. You, you know I don't do this like that, yo. I, I, <laughs> I know. You got to slow down on this. Like, man, come on, man. Tell him what you did. And tell him. You, go ahead. All right. So, all right. I, uh, first of all, I, I, swept, I swept almost everything. And I, 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 got, I got first team all Catholic. I got first team all state. First team all Baltimore City County. you should have in high school. This is before we start college. Do you think... Well, hell no, because uh, a lot, and, I, and like I told you, I'm not going to really go into detail, but, but some shit happened with Mark the year before, and a lot of schools backed off me at that year at St. Francis because of the things that happened with Mark the year before. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to go into detail because it's not my story to tell, but it, it fucked me over because it, it gave St. Francis a, a little bit of a black eye. And the trust was not there for real, for real, with what was going on in the administration office at St. Francis. Like, it's like, you know, they was looking at us like, you know, uh, I wasn't even getting recruited by Maryland, which is like my home, the best school in my state. But I'm getting recruited by Seton Hall, Rutgers, and West Virginia, all these other schools. But, like, at, like, but Maryland not recruiting me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was weird. It's just like... It, it, it was it was weird, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, Bang came over there to holler at the boy, and I, and I gave him the respect he was due. Uh, yeah. over the cop, and I gave him the ultimate respect because I had the ultimate respect for Fang. And I sat down and gave him as much time as he wanted to present whatever he wanted to talk about cop. And he was like, and, and, and I did another HBCU was uh, Hampton. Because like I said, I, uh, I, who am I to turn down if somebody want to come get their picture? Now, no, 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 hey, 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 now, listen, right? Me and Reg, me and Reg and Tate, we talk about this to this day. Because Fang came out at us too, and and there was one, there was one point, you know, I had signed a Wagner, I had signed a Wagner, but they was recruiting Tate and and Reggie, you know what I mean? They was, yeah, all three of us. So, but now we look at it in hindsight, we look at it like, yo, we did just. Went to the same school. You know, we could have did something special. I look back now, and and I, and and I remember uh, 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 before we started the interview, we were just chopping it up before the interview. I was telling you about mistakes made. Yeah. When if I knew what I know now, I damn sure would have went to a Morgan or a Cobb and been the first 
and and then got some of that talent and 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 uh, Baltimore and just turned that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Same here. Same here. Same here. My thing and. The NBA or what would have found you if you put up thirty a game and you change it and you to change the the landscape of a conference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that, it it would have been whatever. Like you know, I yeah. just look at it like you know, mistakes like that. It, 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 it like you can't get some like if you don't get with so many mistakes when you got the basketball. The window is so small. Right. And and time is moving. Time so moving. Many, you make you make with so many mistakes, then you become damaged good on that recruiting thing. So they be like, I don't know. You got to be like. You gotta be like, like I said, I'm a Brady or a Kobe or somebody to, to, to bypass some of the mistakes that I would make. You know what I'm saying? And all right, now hold up. Now that you now, now that you're going in that, right? All right. Now you're going into college, right? St. Francis is over with. What schools was recruiting you, and why did you uh, choose VCU? Uh, Seton Hall, and, and 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 to this day, I regret not going to play for Tommy Amateur to this day. Uh, Seton Hall, USC, Rutgers, VCU. And uh, it was one more other school that was in the Big East because that was my that was my desire to play in the Big East. It was a Rutgers, Seton Hall, oh yeah, West Virginia. So it was Rutgers, Seton Hall, West Virginia, and uh, VCU. All were uh, I narrowed it down to them, and I put uh, out of respect for Eric Skeeters, he was at Youngstown State, uh, uh, Eric Skeeters, uh, and a couple other schools. You know what I'm saying? That. I was just looking at just because of respect for certain people I had when they was, they was doing that thing at the beginning. All right, and then tell me about your first year down there at VCU. All right, so first year down, so they brought me down. Uh, uh, so basically, that, that's that's not how I uh, how I got to VCU. How the decision was made with VCU was a brother. I didn't have my test score until June. Like, and you know, you get to come to college early, and they had this joint called the Star Program. Uh-huh. So you come to, come, come to college early, get nine credits early. Right. And um, I, I I thought, to be personal honest with you, I didn't have my score when it, and the June uh, SAT didn't come out yet. So I didn't have the, the I had the grade, but I didn't have the score yet. And um, I was like, I was on my way to uh, a military academy down there, the, uh, a prep school down there. Hall oh, grade. Uh, Hargrave, yeah, military. I, 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 hey, to be personal, you know, it's either Hargrave, or, it's either Hargrave or Fort Union. Fort Union, that's what it was. It was Fort Union. It was Fort Union. I was on my way to Fort Union because I didn't think I had the score, so I had my mind set on having a really good uh, number year and ripping it again, and and not playing college until you know a year late. You know, basically the modern day re- reclassification. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping to play one more year of high school ball and then come in, uh, you know, ripping that shit up at another school, getting a whole new recruiting panel and doing my thing at, you know, Fort Union and, and, and keeping it moving. But uh, as I'm on my way down to Fort Union, I get a call from BCU saying that my stuff cleared the, uh, you know, the, uh, the clearinghouse, and I'm a loyal guy. They, they, they stuck with me the whole ride. And I wind up going there, so I got down there. I wind up to start the star program and went into the season. Uh, the coach, a new coach was there, so Coach Matt McCarthy was there, not Sonny Smith. And I knew a lot about the school because uh, Bernard Hopkins was there, and he went to Oldley. I went to Oldley, and Bernard Hopkins had just did some special things with under the. Uh, they had just went to the CIAA tournament and all that stuff, and I mean, went to the. Uh, the they won the. Uh, they went to the tournament and everything. NCAA tournament and made the, made, the, made the tournament. So I was like, okay, I'm ready to play with Sonny Smith. That's what's up. And I get down there in a whole different situation. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh my God, who's this dude? He came from like Tennessee, Chattanooga. And you know what I'm saying? Like, me and him bumped heads immediately because I had my street mentality and he had his, his Southern mentality. He was like, you know what I mean? He wasn't going to reform. I wasn't going to reform. So, uh, I played, I did really good. I averaged like 10, 10 and 8 and two blocks a game, but I only was getting 24 minutes a game, and I did not start. Okay. And I was, I was the second leading scorer on the team off the bench. And uh, going into our tournament, the CAA, now, you know, they you know VCU now in uh, uh, the Atlantic 10. But when back then, he was in the, the, uh, 
CAA, but the Colonial Athletic Association. So we were going our way to our tournament, and I got hurt at the end of the year. I hurt my shoulder. I dislocated my shoulder and tore my rotator cuff. Okay. Going into, going, going into that tournament. Uh, um, at the time, they, they, they gave me the cortisone shot and put the, put the uh, shoulder thing on me, but I was hurt. So that summer, I came to my coaching staff down there and was like, yo, I really need a surgery, man. My, my shoulder popping out. I'm in, uh, you know, the Johnny Newman tournament, Johnny Newman, former NBA player. Uh, you know, this, the Johnny Newman tournament down here in Virginia, down here in Richmond. Uh, you know, playing in that joint. My, and I'm putting up numbers, but my shoulder keeps slipping out. Like, like every time I'm, like, they keep, like, you know, doing, like, stuff to try to help me stay in, but it keeps slipping out. It, it, it wasn't my shooting hand, so... It was my left shoulder, so it just kept slipping out. Man, I wind up having to play my whole sophomore year with a torn rotated cup and a dislocated shoulder. I mean, it's still... Wow. With me banging my shoulder back in place, my dude. Wow. And, playing. and I still averaged almost a double-double again in two blocks a game my sophomore year with a dislocated shoulder and a torn rotated cup. That nobody really knew because I went to this pool and he told me I need to know the difference between pain and injury and trust and believe I was, I was, I was, I had pain and I was, you know what I'm saying? And he wouldn't do nothing about it. So I, I left after my sophomore year, I put up all those good numbers. I put up over almost 700 points at BCU. I was a uh, top 10 in blocks. I mean, I was having now, a great career there. Now, but, now, now, I'm going to slow you up. I'm going to slow you up. I'm going to slow you up a little bit. Mentally, tell me where you was at mentally as far as now you want to leave, you going to leave. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, where was you at mentally? I, I, like, initially, right, I went to the athletic. Like, I'm a star player on the team. I went to the athletic. I'm the best recruit they had until they started getting some recent recruits. Man, I was, a, I, I was one of the, I was never supposed to go there, so I was one of the biggest recruits they had. So I, I, I tried to use some of my star power to be like, yo, but y'all, I said, man, I'm not getting along with Coach McCarthy, man. Like, like he disrespects me. He don't play me the way that I want to be played. He's giving me... 24 minutes a game, if that, you know what I'm saying? This dude is, like, really jamming my career up right now. Like, he's really doing the number. And then I'm hurt, right? And I'm in this dude's office, yo. And, and believe him, this is what I'm about to say. I'm in this dude's office. He said, he say, man, well, McCartney has a contract, right? Do you know they fired this motherfucker the same year I left and got caught? <laughs> and didn't tell me. I would never have left had I known they was going to fire him. And Coach Cable was gonna come the same year I transferred to Rutgers. Oh man, man, man! Like, like yo, you know how mad I was when I got to Rutgers and and, and, and beat this out. Watch, watch, watch this story. So you know, of course, you know I went on some visits, and I'm gonna show you how I got to Rutgers. I went on some visits, and I had to shop. I not only had to shop my talent, I had to shop my shoulder and ask somebody to fix my shoulder. Wow. Like, in my sit out year, so I'm asking. I'm asking, like, yo, the show is shit. Just imagine trying to explain to a school that you need a forty thousand dollars surgery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. like, like, yo, my shoulder messed up. I need, a, I need a surgery. Da da da. Like, my shoulder messed up. Uh, my shoulder did mess up the whole time I'm working out for Rutgers, and they signed me. But November, uh, me being at Rutgers, right before that season started, my sit out yeah, I'm on the practice team. My shoulder come out, so I wound up being able to get the surgery because it came out when I was practicing with them, and I wound up being able to rehab with some of the best doctors and surgeons because Rutgers was such a big school. I was able to get the best treatment possible. Right. But but, but as my luck would have it, I just left one. You know they say don't sometimes don't leave one dickhead for another. So I left VCU. Why the coach that recruited me that I was supposed to start and and everything at BC ever had Rutgers, he gets fired in my sit out game. So wow. I said, another bullshit ass mid major coach come from, uh, what's his name? Uh, come from uh, another, like, uh, come from Cleveland State. And this nigga tells me that you know, there's no film on you from last year, so you're going to get demoted to the practice team. Now, 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 hold up, Sean. Yeah, yeah, hold up, Sean. Cause I got, I got to tell I got to tell the people. Did, did y'all hear what he said? Because now this, this the business part of the of of college. 
right now, right now, you supposed to be thinking about getting an education. No, I'm not saying you per se, Sean. I'm just talking in general. But 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 the perception is your kid is out there getting an education, and and he ain't going through nothing. He's just playing ball. But there's a whole nother side of that. But we can get into that though, because this is this part one with with Sean Hampton. So go ahead. So I'm in my like I said, I'm in my shit out here. Uh, I, 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 and don't forget, I can't perform right now because I'm rehabbing. That's a, I got this equivalency of a Tommy gun joint because I put so much wear and tear on my shoulder. It took it took almost sixteen months to rehab my shoulder, yo. like a baseball injury. Like so, when he got there. They fired my other coach. When he got when I got there, I couldn't even play practice until damn near the start of the season. So I did no preseason workout, none of that shit. So you know how new coaches bring you to their office, and you know, well, we looked at this X Y Z film. He told me, well, I had no film when you sent you that BCU. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, I said, no, I said, I, I said, no problem. I said, coach, man, I'm a really good player. You know, I was told I'm a star. Da da da. I mean, you know, well, I don't know who told you that, but they're not here no more. So, um, you're going to be on the third team, and, and that's what it's going to be until you show me that you, you, you can be in the rotation and all this other stuff. So, like, man, I'm, man, I'm like, man, I'm, man, I'm a part of it. Now I'm pissed. Because I done left one dickhead. At least I was getting 24 minutes to meet another dickhead. Now I'm about, now I'm about not play. Then I get some really, really bad news. Uh, I went home on the weekend, and I saw my mother sick, and I won't, uh, I won't yeah. say what it was, but my mom was really, really sick. Right. So, uh, I get the call, we about to go play, we about to, the, I opened up game is against BCU, you know what I mean? So, we about to go play BCU, and I get a call from home saying, you need to come home. You know what I'm saying? I get home, I leave. I, we, I'm, 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 you know, my bag was still on the bus. I, I get in a, I get in a, uh, I get in a, I get in a train and run home, man, to see my mom sitting splayed out, man, just like wow. bad. So I, I like, wow. I transfer, I transfer again. Never, like I, I, like I told you, my dream was to play in the Big East. I never even got a. I was about to go give BCU the business because that was our opening game. Like, cause, uh, like. That was our opening game, and wind up transferring again. So now I ain't seen the court, my dude, in two years. Right. So, like I said, I ain't seen the court in two years, and and so I go, I wind up uh, calling around Towson and uh, and Bowie State was uh, the the two catalysts that wanted me to come on. I, I only wanted to play for teams that back home. I ain't, see, I wasn't entertaining nobody else. Right. And and. Bowie gave me a great deal and allowed and, and let me come up there. So I was sitting out again. So they had to appeal my time to get me another another year back. So I wound up only playing uh, half the season because it was a it's, a it's a penalty. Like people don't realize this ain't high school where you can just transfer. Mm, uh, no, nah, no. Nah, listen. It, it, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Listen, when it, when it was time for me. When I was leaving Georgia State, San Diego wanted me to come out there. So, and I ain't gonna lie, the, the, the coach out there, I ain't gonna say his name. He was, he was trill. He was like, he, he was like, Taz, you can still come out here, but you know you're gonna have to sit out a year, going from one D1 to another D1. So you're gonna have to sit out two years just to play one, 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 one year. So I understand. I know. I don't understand completely what you're talking about. So, like, so now, so the question so as my luck will have it. I catch another injury. I go up to uh, I'm, uh, we, uh, Rip Hamilton and everybody from the Wizards and shit. They playing in our gym. We got these big runs in the summertime up there at Bowie. I'm there. My man, Dante, falls on my leg, and I turn my meniscus. So wow. now, now I'm getting more and more out of shape. So I went from being, I went from being, you know, in tip top to a, I'm losing my rhythm at the same time. I ain't, I ain't touched the court in like two years now. Like, and then, and, and, and then I'm getting bullshit basketball, man. Like, I'm rehabbing and getting bullshit basketball. I ain't really doing no running. I ain't really getting no shots up. Like, I'm really just like, you know, just rehabbing and, and doing bullshit as conditioning. So I finally, finally get back on the court, 
and I'm playing, and I and I get an opportunity to play with my childhood friend. You know what I mean? Who bet? I get to play at Bowie with with, 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 with the great Cornelius McMurray and Omar Smith, Artie, Artie, uh, you know, and all, and and, and, and you know, we we doing our thing, you know, and I wind up, you know, having the most fun I've ever had in college, you know, at Bowie. Right. I mean, it's a black institution. Uh, you know, HBCU. Not only did they help me get my uh, get my my basketball career back on track, but they helped me get my academics back on track and help my brother get his degree. Yes, you know, it did. Yes, it did. Like, so, like you know, at the end of the day, you know, I was at those um, main schools like you know VCU and, and Rutgers, but I wasn't I wasn't on my way to graduate. I wasn't gonna leave them schools with a piece of paper. Right. You know what I'm saying? I left Bowie State with a back with a championship, first time ever. I left Bowie. My team was put in the Hall of Fame. And I put up some good numbers. And your boy got his senior year back, and I wound up playing with another good childhood friend of mine, Anton Dillon. So I wound up getting to play. <laughs> like, so I wound up getting a year back that my mom was sick. And, you know, but I was never the same. I just kept taking injuries, and I was just never the same player. Like, I was never, I, I wasn't that slim, athletic, jump dunk on you player no more. I wound up still getting good numbers, but I, uh, a whole part of me was gone because of injuries that I never had in high school. Like, I took two injuries that, like, back-to-back as I'm trying to get my thing off, and, and once you get on that, once you get that label as injury-prone, it, 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 it's hard to get it off you. You know what I mean? No matter if it's your fault or not. Uh, a tour going through it right now with football. Like, once people start labeling you as injury-prone, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit was flipped. Don takes fell on me trying to go for a loose ball. Right. Uh, they don't want, they don't give a damn about it. The only thing they saw was that my meniscus tour. Right. You know what I mean? And then, I mean, don't forget the, the facilities are so much worse. So, it took them so much longer to rehab my leg. Like, I took mm. so much time, and it never was the same. And so, now we got another two more years. I, I, he graduated, so I done lost four years of my basketball life. You know what I'm saying? Trying to rehab injuries that should have got taken care of my senior is freshman year. You know what I'm saying? Lingered through my whole first and wind up had to pay for my own self to get my leg rehab because Bowie just wasn't rocking. That's the one good thing about a Division One. They got money. So their trainers are top notch and they get mm-hmm. you back on the floor fast. Yeah. But, yeah, let me, let, let, all right, let me let, let me interrupt you a little bit. Let me ask you this. All right, since injuries, the injuries, they played a big a, a big a big part in. As far as overseas, what 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 with that? All right, so I wound up playing in uh, Luxembourg, and I did a couple EA Sports deals, like you know. Uh, the EA Sports is when you tune up other teams. So I did some EA Sports things, and I, I finally thought I had an opportunity. Uh, another great legend. I, 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 I didn't even know he was on the team. I come to, uh, I was in a, uh, this team called League of Scafati in uh, Italy, and I thought Mo was still over there in another country. I come and walk in the gym, and I see Mo had I'm like, oh, shit. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Mo, Mo, Mo showed me so much love, like you know what I'm saying. Mo, Mo had the food at his crib. <laughs> it made Mo like, legend, Mo, man. Like, but I'm I, like, I was told my agent lied to get me over there. I, my agent told me I was going to be on the track practice team and allowed to get myself in shape and then go to another country. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was going to be on the practice. I never, I knew I wasn't going to start on that team. Yeah. Play on that thing, but I was gonna be allowed to get myself back and shape. Man, I told you I've been out of basketball for a minute now. So like like I'm I'm like trying to get myself back in basketball shape, not like, you know, get your time in all that stuff back. Like I'm trying to do all that and like after about a month over there, they released me. You know okay. what I'm saying? And like I went to I went to another I went to some other I went to the C B the C A C B A. Yeah, I went to the all be true. You know what I'm saying? Went out there and a dude, uh, they, 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 the Jamari Moon wind up coming there 
uh, NBA guy and taking the last couple, him and Felipe Lopez and a couple other people took some spots and there was no spots like because them dudes had big names and, and it was from the and, 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 and it was what it was and then so I wind up going to the the first D league down there the Arkansas Run Rockets almost made that team but once again politics once the NBA dudes get dropped down. Yeah, right, they, they, um, yeah, they get the first choice. Yeah, they get the first pick. Is. So now, now, Chad, we like in 2008, 2009. I'm still trying to, you know, like get on. But I'm, but, but like, but I, like I told you, I said I wasn't going to say nothing. But, but, but since we talking and being real, this, this about being real. Yeah. There was some, there was some dudes in Baltimore that I asked for help. To okay. Trying to get overseas. Know what I'm saying, and these dudes in Hollywood taught me. Know what I'm saying, and said they would help, but didn't help. Right, you know and that that like you know that's that's something that we need to do better, and that's why I'm speaking on it. If you got an opportunity to help your fellow help fellow ball player, we all in the same turn. We all try to take care of family. If you got an opportunity to help somebody, help somebody. You know right. what I'm saying? Like like don't worry about. Well, he might still no. Ain't nobody going to do that to you. Like like it's a thousand million spots overseas. I'm just trying to get over there. I don't want your position. I don't want your family not to eat. I just wanted an opportunity. And there's a lot of dudes that had clout that could have got a brother over there that chose not to do it for whatever reason. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, whatever their reasons are, like, hey. But, you know, I look at where I'm at now. I'm where I'm supposed to be at. So I'm not upset, but I needed to speak on it because I want to make sure people know that they right. should help the next person if you can. Just because you didn't make it you can help another dude make it. No, no, no. And you help your mom with helping the next person get the way you're getting or help him not make some mistakes you made. Now look, now look, now look, because we're going, we're going, we're about, we're about to wrap it up, right? Because we're going, we, we got to do a, we got to do a part two, Sean. We got to do a part two. Like, hey, like, anything for the homie time, man. Right? And, because this is how I feel. You got a lot, even more to, to tell to the kids. You know what I'm saying to the people that's coming up. You know what I mean. So at the end of the day, I would I, I would love for you to be back on a, and, and finish and and finish your your thoughts. It's not, it's not even about the career now. The, the next episode is going to be about is going to be the mental part of, of, of the game. When 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 shit slow down, I want to know about I want to know about at one point you see you see I at the beginning of the, of the conversation. You was hot. You was the hot shit. You the new hot shit. And then towards the end of the conversation, you see how things trans things transfer. Now you like, damn, where where everybody go? You see what I'm saying? Like everybody was here at one point now. Now everybody they gone or they bullshit me. You see what I'm saying? I want I want I want you to to break that shit down next time we we, we, we communicate. Well, I, I, I'll leave, I'll leave you I'll leave you with this tip man, before I get off here, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, yo, when, when you when you hit that crossroad, you gotta you gotta have an honest decision with yourself, and mm-hmm. and everybody can't have an honest decision with themselves. There's a lot of dudes that took low deals overseas just to say they played ball. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna do that. If I can make sixty thousand dollars in America, I'm not taking my ass overseas to make twenty. Right. Like, like and I had deals like that when I could have played in Morocco and. Places like that, and people would have been like, "Oh, Sean playing overseas," but I wouldn't have been able to get your ass a, a, a pack of gum when I got back home because I would have been broke. And I'm too real for that. I'm not on front on you know who I am. So I, I, I had opportunities, but it wasn't real opportunity. Man, I was getting older. Like I said, we started like I'm in 2008, 2009 now. So right. like when, when we get back into the conversation next time, just know like you gotta have a real conversation with yourself. When it's over, it's over. It, it was a good ride. I got a degree out of the situation. Now it's time to get back some of that knowledge and do what Stink and Nut and, and, and Daryl Dazzle and a whole lot of other dudes did for me. Was give me some knowledge and give me what I needed to be who I am and be on this conversation giving back right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Listen, y'all, coming live from Taz TV. I told y'all I was going to have a special one here for y'all tonight. Sean Hampton, you know what I'm saying? He, he did a lot. You know what I mean? I'd like to thank you, Sean, for being on the platform. Me and Dipper would like to thank you a lot. 
That's my. I appreciate y'all for having me on the show, man. Thank you know what I'm saying? That's my guy. You know what I mean? So, in two part two, y'all like, share. Until next time, holla. All right, my brother. Stay safe, man. Stay Love safe. You, Love you too.